All right, folks, it's Paul Wilson Lindner Jr. here, a.k.a. Positive Paul, on Thursday, July 15th, 2021. Well, the beat goes on while these sad sack Satanists, these creepy chameleon Canaanites, these dirty dog Draco reptoid Hollywood hybrid hacks continue their false reality and everybody goes along with it. I know you're all waiting, you know, to go back to work. Some of you aren't going to be able to do that, though, until you know what happens. But see that I, I really could care less about that. What I care about is people getting saved. Now, you know, maybe I joined the party late. They did a number on me as a kid. You know, uh, satanic ritual abuse, MK Ultra, trauma-based mind control. Then they wipe your memory. And then because essentially everyone had bad luck from day one concerning me, they had to let me be. And then, you know, stuff me with implants. And when the day came that I was still hanging around and I figured out what happened to me and I started running my yap, hey, that's when you get, ooh, the gang stalking, right, folks? Ooh, the targeting. Yeah, gang stalking. Wow. Well, you freaks, you phony TIs out there that uh, can't even properly document your targeting. It's a joke. It's been a joke from day one. Like I said, if you had to go to court, you couldn't even you couldn't even state your name properly, probably. Who knows? So what's the point to this video? See, I just did two blistering videos concerning a recent uh, Mickey Mouse Mexican setup down here in Rosarito Beach, Mexico. But, you know, hey, God bless the Mexicans. They're not my enemy, and I'm not mad at them for being used by the American Nazis that flooded this town, meaning the Satanists, flooded this town with money to create an economic boom, specifically to keep everybody's eyes off the prize, which is salvation, folks. They can't have me running around talking to these Mexican people saying, look, I'm sorry, the, the, the Catholic Church is not what it's cracked up to be. Uh, they, they've been lying to you, to us, all of us, for a very long time. And there's no good way to explain it to them. But as I said, I've exhausted my testimony. They don't want to hear it. They are sick and tired of being poor, hungry, and left behind. So you can't blame them. So, you know, it's funny. These dopey Hollywood hybrid hack comment perps that show up, you know, everywhere on BitChute specifically... Because it's amazing that the, the, the type of uh, uh, creep that shows up. Like, how'd they find my channel to mock me? Same with YouTube. And, you know, if you look back and just, just look at the, the, the targeted individual landscape that was around back in 2016... It's unrecognizable now because they were all frauds and phonies. There's a couple hanger-ons that are still, you know, doing their act. But look, we know the targeting. What's the targeting about, folks? All right, top of the list, satanic ritual abuse survivors, specifically in my age group. People put through the original MK Ultra. It's about wiping out the Abrahamic bloodline. But more importantly, yes, there's illegal experimentation going on and it's not the rnm supercomputer you dipshits but what it comes down to is it's about control and who who will stand up for the truth a lot of you call yourself patriots highly doubt that because you you think trump Trump somehow, ooh, is going to save you. Ooh, the 66,000 indictments. Yeah. Cue the white hats. These assholes that are nowhere to be found. They're always mysteriously working behind the scenes trying to fix things. But they can never fix it, folks. They just use their dopey agents to purport their disinfo. 
and lead you away from the fact that there is an almighty God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that pulled my feet out of the fire. And uh, I'm still, I'm like, I'm trying to go along with the program. I ain't going to challenge the Most High. I, I fear him. I respect him. And what he's done for me in my life has been amazing. And I, I still wonder, like, I, I'm not getting anywhere. I've maybe gotten through to a couple people down here in Mexico. Maybe gotten through to a couple people on YouTube. But other than that, it's almost, it seems like all my efforts have uh, amounted to, um, you know, a hill of beans, folks, unfortunately. So I'm rambling because I'm kind of upset. I'm more upset with BitChute. And this video is going to be on both YouTube and BitChute. It's the censorship. It's such a joke now. It's in your face. I, I mean, nobody can show these so-called alien UFOs, right? Remember the big disclosure, folks? That really never happened. Oh, yeah, they had some more excuses in the grainy uh, F... Uh, what, the uh, fighter jet videos that they had of the uh, the triangle craft? But but again, and, and some of you that, you know, I see you've got some of these anomalies in your videos too. But you're, the way you present your case, as if, as if somehow, you know, you just stumbled upon this. And you don't realize that there's a Satanist in your midst. Get it through your thick heads. All you. And that's what it's about. If you claim to be a T.I., it's not because of, uh, what, you got straight A's in high school? What, you love Jesus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Jesus, too. No, you're not a T.I. because, you, what, you had a 4.0 in college? What, because your daddy was uh, president of uh, Harvard? Is that why you're a T.I. and you didn't go along with the program? No, you got a Satanist in your midst. You understand this. And hear me loud and clear. All the nonsense you've heard about targeted individuals is nothing but a load of garbage. It comes down to you got a Satanist in your midst. You're either being used as a pawn or you, yourself, like myself, were experimented on as a kid. And they couldn't kill you. So they had to keep tabs on you when you uh, eventually broke free of your programming. I don't think most of you understand that. Oh, okay, I'm a T.I. because I'm a whistleblower. Oh, yeah, whistleblower here, whistleblower there. Remember, folks, there are no more whistleblowers. Now, these freaks. Look at this guy's hand. When I tell you about the, the cartoon type electromagnetic distortion effect... Take a good look at his hand. I, it looks... Come on. We know who this is. I just thought that was odd. Very odd, folks. Looks like he's got a hand puppet. Now, what I want to do is... I want to go over this again. Right there. Let's see if I can get this, folks. All right, these are the two Nordic whites right there that because, see, these investigators can't do their job, they can't keep track of me here in Mexico, the, the Nordic whites have to step in every now and then. And this is just, you know, me being enamored by Kway Temok. <laughs> okay, so it's a low-budget Positive Paul production, folks. Now let's let's watch this. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, there it goes again. See, you assholes, none of you can show this. Because you think you're awake. You think you're having fun. You think, oh yeah, you know, you've got some entertaining videos. But the fact of the matter is, you're going to be sitting in these fenced off pens, sucking your thumb, crying for your mommies. Because you didn't listen to Positive Paul to give it up. Here's, here's your anti-gravity craft hanging around me, folks. Now let's, let's slow down. 
what I want to do, folks, I want to go over, I, I, I stumbled upon this, and this came from TRT News, and it concerned, I can't even remember now because I'm getting so far behind on this, but that's Ariel Sharon, who has since passed away. There's his bodyguard. Now, the point is, they're in this melee in Israel somewhere, surrounded by people, and they're trying to get out of there. But what happens? What happens to the bodyguard? He starts, we, we know how this works, folks. They can't control their tongue. But look at his tongue. You see the white strip? You see that, folks. That's not supposed to be there. So what I'm trying to tell you is you've got a bunch of shape-shifting monsters using some type of crazy technology that hides their true form, and we know this. Look at Sharon. Look at it. See how you get the electromagnetic distortion, the splotchiness in the eye, how it gets all ghoulish and demonic? Now, this guy, Robert Seffer, I tell you what, man. You know, see, trying, pretend, pretending to know what I know and trying to pretend that uh, you got this great edumacation and somehow that qualifies you to speak about this conspiracy theory stuff, but wrap it up in a nice, neat, presentable package on social media to fool, fool these dopey people, specifically in the United States, that are clueless. Because look, the rest of the world is, they're essentially, they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're poor, tired, hungry, <laughs> and sick of it all. You Americans are a bunch of spoiled imbeciles that don't realize your country got taken over a long time ago. And these eggheads that uh, promote higher education use these agents right here, folks, to blather on about... What? The false reality? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, people. So again, look, I'm on to all you freaks. Every last one of you. Every last one of you. Yeah, the Nordics. I got it, Robert. You keep listening to Positive Paul and you'll learn a thing or two. You'll learn a thing or two. Now, see, in, in Robert's recent video, just, uh, what, two days ago? The Nordics and the UFO disclosure. He, he wraps it up with none other than William Tompkins, one of, one of the sellouts, folks. See, my dad looked me in the eye and lied to me my whole life and pretended he was my father. If he did that, these other assholes did it too. Like, like I would say, yeah, you know, 50% of the baby boomers were sold out, sellouts, and the rest were just duped. But here he is telling everybody on Gaia that everything that you learned in college and everything is a lie. Now, why would Robert Seffer end his video with this joker, William Tompkins? and have Tompkins up there, you go, go ahead and listen to it, folks. He sat there and said, everything we've learned as a human being from the beginning is a lie. They've hidden the truth. So what? So what? This guy, what did he do? He, he he's just was an old curmudgeon, and they probably told him, look, your time's up, Mac. We're going to give you six months, and then you're cashing in your chips. We're putting you six foot under. So here's what you're going to do for us. You see how this works, folks? Get it through your thick heads. Now, Sefer puts up this uh, uh, UFO sighting from uh, 1956 where this freak lady in Stratford, Stratfordshire, England, tells her story about coming in contact with a UFO. Now let's look at this freak in nature, okay? That needs to stay all covered up too, folks. Now this is her giving her, her story in 1977, but the, the actual event occurred in 1956. They're all lazy lying lizards, folks. I don't, I don't know why you don't understand that. Now, when you see these geometric patterns, these, these straight, fine lines, 
Look at her mouth. You know you got a problem, Houston. You know you're not looking at a human being. Yeah, well, maybe, uh, you know, if you were standing next to her and you were a dopey human that's just a Gentile, you wouldn't be able to figure it out. But I could tell you what, the ancient Israelites knew what these freaks were. Again, folks, understand what you're looking at. The garment spotted by the flesh. And here you go, folks. These lazy, lying lizards. And look at this doofus, the guy interviewing the freak reptoid. <laughs> now, numb nuts here. Slim Jim, Mr. Miyagi, this fraud, phony T.I. He's talking to angels now. Remember, he got he got set up in his cushy uh, condo last year, right? Ooh, okay. Then he sat there and squatted, right? His buddy, that, that was um, his suitor. You, you know how it works, folks. He was pretending to be homeless. And then he got kicked out of the condo. Now he's homeless again. But here's your boy. Richard Bruce, a.k.a. Mr. Miyagi, and who's his hero, William Tompkins. Now look at the garment spotted by the flesh, you freaks. How many times do I got to do this? How many times? Now, let's look. Do you see the garment spotted by the flesh, folks? Do you see? Most of you... <laughs> All right, I'm losing it. Don't worry. <laughs> Do you see the garment spotted by the flesh? Man, this is this fucking guy. Hey, Rich, your act is over. So here's Rich. Remember the pursing of the lips? This is just his last video or two back, something like that. <laughs> As he's forced to continue his act or they'll put him out of his misery. The pursing of the lips. And then there it comes, folks. He's getting ready to... <laughs> He's getting ready to, to stick that tongue out, folks. And what does he do? They all know. They all know when this happens because he's embarrassed. He's ashamed of himself. That's right, Rich. Cover your mouth, you freak. That's damn right. And now what happens, folks? He's so nervous. Look at this fucking guy schnoz. How does that happen? <laughs> Remember Lisa Haven with her schnoz. How does that happen, Rich? You freak in nature.